scripture lesson this morning comes from the Gospel of Luke. We'll be looking at chapter 10, beginning in verse 1. Luke 10. This follows right after the text we read last week, you know, where Jesus uh, was being asked by uh, people who uh, to follow him, and he was pretty much telling them how hard it was going to be, and who was, who was able to follow him and who wasn't. And then Luke on, goes on to tell us, after this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself <laughs> intended to go. He said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers in his, into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick who are there and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not welcome you, Go out into the streets and say, even the dust of the town that clings to our feet, we wipe off and protest against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God has come near. Whoever listens to you listens to me, and whoever rejects you rejects me, and whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. The seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, in your name even the demons submit to us. He said to them, I watched Satan fall from heaven like a flash of lightning. See, I have given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this, that servants submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. This is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. Amen. 